Sometimes you feel like a nut. Hello farmers and welcome back to Mercury Farms. As you can see we are in the T8 and we're hooking up the mowing equipment along with the windrower. I've decided for now that we have enough hay. If we go to our silos if you will. Uh, where are we? Hay. So we got 162,000 liters of hay and right now our sheep are fine for grass and hay and our cows are so so on the Tillamix ration so I think uh, for this time we're just gonna mow it on up and bring it to the BGA and we'll make some silage on it we'll just keep it there for now um, the silage that is uh, just because uh, don't know when we'll need it for the cows or I can sell it if I really need money or anything like that without taking out a loan that'd be great I thought about having uh, follow me on and having someone pick up the grass behind us but i thought you know what well it's not going to take us long to mow this and then pick it up so that's what we're going to do uh can i lower that now here can i i can't turn that one on until i do the front one huh all right so we'll no 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 unfold it like that i'll get it all working i promise uh where are we there we go. Now we can cruise along here. And yeah, this grass has been ready for weeks, it seems like. So, yeah, we'll go ahead and mow it on up. Like I said, it's not going to be too, well, it's not going to take us too long. A few passes here and there. And we'll be done in no time. Like I said, we're just going to take it to the BGA, uh, compact it, and wrap it up. Uh, because the rest of today, we really don't have much to do in game day. That is, uh, all of our fields are currently in the growth stages. And the only field that could be ready by the end of the day is the uh, field over down by the house. And that's a small field anyway, so it wouldn't take long to just burn through that. If you look over to our right, all those trees you see in there, remember, those are the ones we planted. They're looking pretty darn good. It's been, I don't know how many days since we actually been up there and see how it came along, but... Is doing rather well, it seems. So yeah, this time, like I said, we'll mow the lawn. We have mowed the lawn. <laughs> this thing about that, because I just mowed the lawn for the first time this year, like a day or so ago. Uh, but anywho, yeah, we'll mow up this field. And then in a few days, if we need some more hay, well, this, this will be ready in a couple days again to be mowed and be done with it what needs to be done with it. I do have some hay on the ground, as I can see. So when that goes in the loading wagon, I hope it doesn't change. I know the uh, giants have changed the way that kind of works, so it doesn't switch it all over. So I hope it doesn't like pick it up and change. It's like if I get a trailer of like 99% grass, all of a sudden it changes it all over to hay. I won't be that upset. Let's put it that way because I'll just put in storage and I'll be like, all right, well, <laughs> we'll just put in storage and use that at some point to feed the sheep and or make total mix rations. So on the day I'm recording this, and this goes to our other map we've been playing on, the Pacific Northwest. The Pacific Northwest is now, uh, Giants is now testing that for the console version of it. So for those of you that are waiting to hopefully get to Pacific Northwest on a console, they are now currently testing it. Um, as far as I've been told, this is the first step they did. They didn't test the PC version of it yet, which seems kind of weird. But uh, any hoozles, that's in testing for console. So we'll see how that goes. I mean, maybe they already tested the PC version and it went fine. And now they're just saying they're testing it on the console side. And who knows, maybe it'll be out by the weekend, which I don't, 
don't want to get anyone holds up because usually with a mod there's usually something. There's usually something wrong. Ugh. I like how it doesn't place the grass down where if I were to start a new farmer at the bottom of the field on new farmer that's where the oh well one of the pastures would be I don't remember which one of those there I think the cows might have gone there but it won't drop the grass there so that's why I, I, we get a big clump as we do when we come around the corner now I'm not going to be too worried about getting every little blade of grass in this field And this field is well taken care of other than we don't have a second stage of fertilization on it, which is which is fine. Now, actually, when I was coming up here, I was trying to remember, I'm like, I don't remember which wind drawer we have. I didn't know if I had the, the crone one, which is really big. And I said, I don't think I bought the crone one because with all of our trees in here, that would be kind of too big to get around all these trees. And part of me says I should cut down these trees, but that's what gives the fields their, their character. It can be a pain in the butt, yes, but that's what gives it character. Alright, so get ready when I get right about here. Bang. Where is it? There it is. Alright, not that big of a bang as it was before. So, yep, we got to mow this field, and of course the one right over there. So also the Homer free DLC came out today as well. Um, I had a quick look in the store and I was like, so where where's the new stuff? Uh, I did not look up at all what the was in the DLC. So I have no idea. But like some of the Homer stuff was already in the game. I did activate it on my mods list before I started playing here, so... I'm not sure what the new equipment is. Actually, I don't know if I said earlier, I said I'm recording this on a Wednesday. Today is actually Tuesday. I keep forgetting what day it is. So... <laughs> Uh, that can happen when you record YouTube videos, when you're recording on a day and your mind's kind of set of what day this video is going out, so you try to talk in that tense, and then you forget what actually day it is. And I'm hoping that this day that you see the video that I'll be able to get three videos out today. I know I just said a little while ago I need to cut back on videos because putting out two videos per day is was too much, and now I'm saying hopefully on this day there's going to be three videos out, but... If you've been paying attention to the channel, you notice I started a new series on the release of A Plague Tale Innocence. And I've had my eye on that game, oh wow, I don't know, since before the holidays of last year. And I kind of forgot about it until like the day before it got released and I was like, uh, you know how Steam will tell you you got some downloads ready. I'm like, oh, what downloads are ready? I'm like, oh, Plague Tale Innocence. I bought the game that long ago. <laughs> so it's like, oh, when is that? I'm like, oh, that's out tomorrow? I'm like, oh, I got to find time to put that on the channel. I've only done the first two, ch uh, as I'm recording this, I've only done the first three chapters in the story. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to get recording. Recording next episode, actually right after I do this. And actually, as I'm recording this, the first episode actually just went live not long ago. So I don't know how well it's going to be taken out the channel, so I'll have to see. Who knows, I might not get any views at all. I don't know. I even forgot uh, mowing these fields, how much grass we get out of them, but I think it's like three trailer loads. I think. I think, I think. And it's usually times like this when I'm doing big jobs. I'm trying to think of other things that need to be doing. As in like the Pacific Northwest. I think I figured out how I want to start that series off. 
And like I said, uh, I'm not leaving Mercury Farms to go to the Pacific Northwest, so this storyline here as uh, you know, us owning the farm and not selling everything and moving to the Pacific Northwest to start that series. Um, Alright, so what... Uh, okay, so we're on that one there. Uh, we'll turn that one off for now. There we go. Now we can go to the other field. Mull that one. So also, I'm thinking for now that that death pump is 5,000. I think that death pump should be uh, not as expensive. Uh, that is down, yes. I'm kind of hoping that someone's going to come up with a mod so you can have a gas pump and a death pump all in one. I'm pretty sure someone will figure it out. I would like to get into mods myself, but I just... I don't have time to make videos, let alone get into mods. I mean, if I really want a modded tractor or a trailer, I will dig into it a little bit and try it, but uh, with 19, it's a little bit different than it used to be, so... Yeah, if anyone, wa if any of you watched my Hawks Bay series and I tried doing the uh, root crop headers, because on Hawks Bay we got sugar beet, potato, carrots, and onions. I got, I got the tiger too, harvester to take all four crops, but for some reason I couldn't get the header to cut all four crops, which was seemed kind of weird. I'm like, okay, I did something wrong. But the funny thing is I haven't seen anyone else come out with one header for all root crops. So I don't know if it's uh, the way it harvests it or something. What am I? Really? I'm not stuck on that tree. Get out of here. Get out of here with that. So hopefully in the next in-game day, uh, we'll have a whole bunch of crop to sell. Hopefully the price is good. Price is right, if you will. You know what is noticed? Okay, since the map updated, what, a few weeks ago? When I was going down there, I'm like, wait a minute, I can't go there. There's a rock there. The rock is gone by that tree. I knew something was different when I was going down the hill. I'm like, wait a minute. I don't usually be able... I can't usually go on that side of that tree for a reason. Then it hit me. I'm like, uh, there used to be a rock there. Well, that makes mowing this field just a little bit... I want to say easier. It wasn't that difficult before, really. Yeah, right where this bush is, there used to be a rock. That's why I did not plow it and put in grass there, because I couldn't. As Sean Connery would say, welcome to the rock. And I can't uh, do his voice impression, so ignore that. I am a little curious about this death fuel. I'm not sure how much it's going to go through. So this is like the only second... I think it's the second episode that we've done the death fuel in it. But being a modded tractor, I don't know when they modded... Because I know Stevie did mod uh, the fuel consumption on the tractor. I don't know if that affects the death fuel part of it as well when they modify that. So I'll have to see. Uh, worst comes to worst, you know, like I said, you know, there is a fuel pump I can put down for five grand or just buy the canister. 
Uh, there's two canisters you can buy, a 25 liter and a 50 liter, so either way. All right, looks like one more pass for the T8 downhill, and we can put all this stuff away, then we can grab the loading wagon and start making trips to the BGA. And part of me did start to think, I say, you know what, we're making a good enough money. Maybe when I get enough money, I'll buy the big M. But then I got thinking, you know what, these fields are not big enough to justify buying the big M at all, so... I don't think I'll be doing that. And I can do so much more with the money. Can I fold that with yes I can. I didn't know if I could fold that with a front one front one running. Fold that up. And then turn that off. There we go. And I did bring the loading wagon down with me from the main farm. I was actually thinking today before I started recording. Um, nope, wrong one. Uh, there we go. No, I can't unfold that. I just got to drop it. There we go. It works. But actually, I'm a little glad I can just record today because I came in, started recording, and... Oh, about 45 minutes later, I'm finally recording because I got into the game and my steering wheel wasn't working. Uh, the famous G27 on Windows 10 driver error code that we seem to get. Uh, luckily, this time all I had to do was restart the PC. And then I got in the game and I hit record and my recording software was like, <laughs> no, I'm not working. So I had to go in and update that. And that seemed to solve the problem. And you know how they say, usually it comes in groups of threes. Now that's two things. So I'm waiting for the third thing. So maybe when I get done recording, uh, maybe I'll find out my microphone's not working or something. But it's showing that it's working. But it doesn't, sometimes that doesn't mean nothing. Oh yeah, so I was going to mention, like I said, I was doing uh, a series on a Plague Tales. I always say a Plague Tales Innocence, but it's actually a Plague Tale Innocence. And basically it's uh, a story of a French family back in the late 1300s. Uh, the Bu I think it's, I'm probably going to pronounce it wrong, the Bubonic Plague. That's the way I always said it. And it's about a story about uh, basically a little girl... Uh, I was, I think she's like 13 or 14, and her little brother Hugo, who's about five, and, uh, oh yeah, there's plenty of adventures to go on through there. It's, uh, so if you like a, like a storyline kind of a let's play, you might want to check it out. Someone's working in the woods with a chainsaw. Well, a few trips later to the BGA. This should be our last trailer load that I'm loading up. Yeah, the T8 does not, I kind of forgot the T8 does not like really going up the hill with a full trailer of, well, whatever it's got in the back of it. Yeah, when it gets, uh, gets about like 50,000 liters, the T8 is kind of like, um, I could use maybe a little bit of help here. <laughs> so, yeah, it doesn't like it that much. And that's where I guess I usually use the Volvo. But the last few times I haven't been the one picking up the grass slash hay because we've been using Follow Me the last couple times. As you can even see, uh, what, we only got like, what, just 10,000 liters in there? The T8's like, yeah, I really don't want to be doing this. But we do have 180,000 liters already at the BGA, plus whatever we get out of here. 
and it was starting to come back to me that for some reason I want to say it's uh, 210 is the number we get like 210, 220 going to make some good silage uh, to either sell or we can always just uh, make some total mix rations out of it if we decide to buy more cows I should, probably should look I because I forgot what the reproduction rate of the cows are at this point I think we got like 17 17 per and I want to say it's like every three days or two days we get four cows I forgot I forgot what it was we can look here in a second if the T8 decides that it wants to get up the hill or not I was trying to get that little piece of grass that's there but that grass may have to stay No, I can't leave it there. It's too big of a clump for me to leave it there. It'll bug me until we go ahead and mow the field again. There we go. But I tell you what, we'll bring the grass over to the BJ. We'll put it in there. We'll get this guy on course play because I'm not going to sit there and compact this stuff down. You know, we'll set him up on course play. Then we'll start looking at some things. Um, maybe I'll look in the store, see if I can find some of the new Homer stuff, which either I'm looking at it not thinking it's new, or I don't know. I don't know. Then we'll look at the cows, just to make sure. I think it's every, I want to say around 50 hours, 50, 55 hours, we're getting four cows. But with three uh, Let's Plays going on right now, I think I'm getting confused, which uh, for me is very easily easily done so once we get this compacted and wrapped up it's about what 12 hours to convert over to silage and more than likely we'll probably end up selling it and really at some point um, I don't know if I can sell digestate on this map or not so that's the other thing I need to look at. Can I sell digestate? Because we're going to have some digestate in that tank already. If anything, I want to say the vehicle shop may take it. But it's not going to show on the store page, I don't think. So if you play Mercury Farms and you know it does, uh, you can sell digestate on this map, uh, let me know in the comments below, please. All right, we're just going to park back this guy like right here. All right, so since I've had trouble setting up course play doing silage, uh, I'm going to do this off camera and come right back. Well, since I haven't done it in a while, I think I actually got it set up right. Uh, so we end up with 217,000 liters of grass, uh, and hopefully in about 12 hours it'll be silage. If I put dualies on that sucker, it'll probably compact a little bit faster. Uh, but I can go to town while, while we check up on some things. Uh, we'll get out of the pit so we don't hear the T8 going back and forth. Uh, first things first, the cows. Uh, oh, it's every 72 hours. Okay, so every three days. Uh, but by the next in-game day, we'll get four more. So this number will go down quite a bit. Um, we do have a lot of manure to sell. I should sell some manure at um, here at the BGA. I think that's probably the best price for a manure, is it not? Uh, yeah, 300 compared to 91, uh, a lot better. So it doesn't so show digestate here, but I know you can sell you can sell a whole bunch of stuff like seed. I don't want to mark that. Uh, unmark, unmark, unmark. No, untag. Um, yeah. So at the vehicle, not the vehicle shop, the garden center. Um, this is normally where you sell most of your stuff, but if you bring stuff like, uh, so you can sell seed, um, artificial fertilizer, pig food, I think it's potatoes, sugar beet, and, um, 
poplar seeds here. Are they actually called seeds? I don't know. Are they called seeds? I have no idea. Uh, pallets. So if you have extra pallets of poplars, you can sell them here along with sugar cane. Um, and that's about it, I do believe. So I don't know. Yeah, unloading, unloading bay. So you can unload extra materials here. As for digestate, I don't know if you can sell it here. I mean, obviously, this is where the manure goes. Yeah, I cannot remember. I cannot remember at all. Um, that's where you sell the diesel fuel right there. But see, some things, I know you can sell diesel fuel, and of course, you're not going to find diesel fuel on the selling point list, points list. So, as for digestate, I want to say I probably can, because usually Alien Jim uh, is thinking thinking that way so i'm gonna assume i could probably sell it somewhere um the only way i didn't know is i should grab the volvo and the tanker and just go around so um uh, so the other thing i wanted to check out is go into the shop and i'm gonna dig around for the homer stuff and see if i can find anything on that all right so when in doubt uh i kind of forgot about this if i go to, if i go to brands and just scroll down um yeah it's probably easier that way uh, Homer. So anything that says mod is new. So here's the vehicles. Finally, what what is it actually under? Uh, Brands Homer. I don't I don't know where it's actually located. Uh, but it does slurry and digestate. Spreads slurry and improves the harvest of your fields. Um, so there's that. So here's just a truck that would take all of this equipment along with it. So um, this is a this collects grass and hay, potatoes, sugar beet, and chaff. This takes the grains. Uh, seed and fertilizer. And that spreads it right there. Okay. Um, also, if you go into auger wagons... You got these right here, which I do believe is something we just saw as well. So if I go back under brands and go back under uh, Zunhama. So probably way at the end. So these are the two things that got added as well. Liquid manure spreaders can be attached to suitable manure, uh, manure barrels. And you got this one here. There's a few other things here, but uh, since I'm having a hard time finding it, we're just going to ignore it. Just going to ignore it. Uh, let's head back up to our beautiful T8 and see how he's getting along here. So in this, that short time, he's up. Well, he's about halfway done. You keep on and going on, dude. Uh, can you get done before the end of the day, which you should be able to, no problem. Uh, don't know you're getting the grass way out here, but that's where I got course play coming the way out. So he's going to get that compacted. Uh, we'll cover it up, and probably next time I see it, it'll be the next in-game day. Um, probably start with some sunflower harvesting. Is it even Actually, it's ready now. But uh, <laughs> So we know that field will be ready. I'm not sure about uh, this field here, and this one, and this one here. Um, I don't know if they'll be ready or not. Ready or not, here we come. But uh, yeah, at least we'll... Sell some sunflowers, I think. Oh, yeah, I also forgot about this field here. We got we own this field now as well. Kind of forgot about that. Yeah, so I'll have to just keep track of our all of our fields down here. Uh, watch the money come in, and then, then i got to figure out what to do, how I want to spend it. I don't know if I want to buy field 51 for grass and turn that into corn and just, just do chaff and bring it here and start selling silage like a madman. Uh, but maybe what I'll have to do is we'll have to grab our Volvo truck, grab the tanker, and uh, I'll have to see if I can sell the digestate. If I can sell it, then uh, selling silage, you know, we we can definitely do a lot of silage and sell the digestate. Or if I can't sell the digestate, it's not going to hurt to get a sprayer and we can spray some fields before we seed them. Uh, kind of like we did on Ravenport. I mean, a few things we can do. But I'm going to let this guy finish. And uh, we're going to finish the episode. So hopefully you guys enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching as always. And I'll catch you next time on Mercury Farms, but until then, have a good one.